ndabasuza mu izina ryo mwami wacu Yesu Kristo mwese aho muri kaze mu isaha ya gaciro shalom I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ welcome in this hour of value Reka dufata gakanya gato dusenge Let us take this moment for a word of prayer Turagushima data wo mu ijuru We thank you heavenly father Turagushima uwari misi ndijuru we thank you, the creator of heaven and earth. Kongera kuduha uyu mwanya wo kuza mu maso hawo. For giving us this moment to be present in your sight. Tugiye kuganira ijambo ryawe muri isaha ya gaciro. As we are going to share your word in this hour of value. Reka ikiganiro cyacu cy'isaha ya gaciro cyuzura imbaraga zawo. May this talk show of our value be filled with your holy spirit. Tugirie neza. Bless us. Uvugane natwe. Speak with us. Mu zina rya Yesu. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Eh tu ri mu cyumweru kibanziriza Pentecost. This is a week before Pentecost. Mbere ya cyari Pentecost. Uh, before this week that we have Pentecost. Eh icyumweru gitaha. So next week tuzaba turi muri Pentecost. We will start our Pentecost. Ngo umutwe wacu uravuga ngo itegure. Kandi utegereze guhabwa imbaraga ziva kwa data. Our theme say get ready and wait for father's empowerment. Mbere yuko Pentecost iba. Before the Pentecost, harwaye kwitegura. There was the preparation. Haba gutegereza. There was also waiting. Hanyuma kumusugeza barakira. Then on a due time they received. Mu gitabo cy'ibyakozwe n'intumwa igice cya mbere. In the book of Acts. Igice cya mbere. Chapter 1. Aha Luka Niwe wanditswe igitabo. Luke is the one who wrote this book. Yacanditswe ahumekewe n'Imana. He wrote this because of the inspiration of God. Ariko umuntu yashaka kukigezaho cyane. But the person that he was targeting, no mugabo witwa Theophile. It was a man called Theophilus. Uyi Theophile yari inshuti ya Luke. Theophilus was a friend of Luke. Bigaragara ko nawe yari yarize nka Luke. Meaning he was also educated just like Luke. Luke yari yarize ari umuganga. Luke was a physician. Rero na Theophile nawe agombe kuba yari yarize amashuri yanda hambara. Theophilus was also probably same at same level of education as Luke. Eh hanyuma and then Luke agiye kumwandikira. As Luke was about to write to him. Eh arabwo ngo Theophile we. He said oh Theophilus. Ngo muri cya gitabo cya mbere nanditse ibyo Yesu yabanje gukora no kwigisha byose In the in the former account I made it was all about Jesus and what he began Icyo gitabo cya mbere cyari kiye What was the the former account Cyari gitabo cya Luka It was the book of Luke Mu gitabo cya Luka In the Luke book of Luke yandikira na none Theophile He referred again to Theophilus Ariko hano nakamubwire bati dore ibyo nabanje kwandika bya mbere kubijyanye gusa na Yesu ibyo yabanje gukora nibyo yigishye byose He said what I what I referred to the former account was of Jesus how he began both to do and to teach Eh pastor pastor Jane rika turebe muri Luka igice cya mbere Ku murongo wa mbere ngo abantu benshi bagerageje ku kuringaniza igitekerezo cy'imvaho kibyemewe natwe rwose in the book of Luke chapter 1 verse 1 it says in as much as many have taken in hand to set in order a narrative of those Ngo nguko twabibwiwe nabahereye mbere bigatangira babyibonera ubwabo kandi bakaba arabigisha bijambo ry'Imana And to just as those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and the ministers for the word delivered to them to us Ngo nuko nange maze gukurikira na byose neza pereye kubyambere nabonye ko ari byiza kubikwandikira uko bikurikirana wowe Theophile mwiza rwose It seemed good to me also having had perfect understanding of all things from the very first to write to you an orderly account most excellent Theophilus Kugira ngo umenye ibyo wigishijwe ko ari byukuri that you may know that certainly of those things in which you were instructed. Ah, urumva ni Theophile yes. yandikira. So he was writing to Theophilus. Aha ni mu gitabo cyaruka. This is in the book of Luke. 
rero aha mu gitabo kizakozwe n'intumwa mu gice cy'ambere so in the book of acts of apostles arongera kumwandikira kandi nicyo gitabo cy'akabiri he sends he wrote again to theophilus which is the second time ngo muri cya gitabo cy'ambere nanditse he said in the former account i made ngonavuze ibyo yesu yabanje gukora no kwigisha byose it is about all that Jesus began both to do and to teach. Ngongeza kumusi yazamuriwe mu ijuru ni kumara ngwa kabiri ngo amaze gutegeka intumwa yatoranije azitegekesha umwuka wera. Until the day in which he was taken up after he through the Holy Spirit had given commandments to the apostle. Deka turebe muri Luka eh igice cha 24 so if we read Luke chapter 24 2444 So now Jesus is about to depart So but Luke say until the day in which he was taken up So then he said to them, These are the words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and the prophets and in the pro uh, Psalms concerning me. And he opened the, under the understanding that they may comprehend the scriptures. Then he said to them, Thus it is written that thus it may was necessary for the Christ to suffer and to rise from the date on the third day. And that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name to all nations beginning at Jerusalem. And he said, and you are witnesses of these things. And behold, I sent the promise of my father upon you, but tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you are endued with powers from on high. Abajana Hanze, Abagezi Betania, Arambura Mavoko Hejuru, Abahumujish. And he led them out as far as Bethany, and he lifted up his hands and blessed them. Akiwa Humujish, Atandu Kanyuanabo, Ajanwa Mijuru. Now it came to pass why he blessed them that he was parted from them and carried into heaven. Nabo Baramura. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with a great joy. And were continually in the temple praising and blessing God. This we are reading it in Luke. So in the Psalms 1 verse 2. Ngo nakubwiye byose ngo kugeza ku munsi yazamuriwe mu ijuru ni hari yarangirije ngo amaze gutegeka intumwa yatoranije azitegekesha umwuka wera yabategeketse ngo ntiba vi Yerusalemu mu murwa Now he says I tell you both what Jesus did and and taught until the day in which he was taken up from through the Holy Spirit and he had after he had given the commandment to the apostles and the commandment he gave them was to remain to tarry in Jerusalem Ngwamaze kuba bazwa ku munongo wa gatatu ngo ababonekera ari muzima atanga ibimenyetso byinshi agumya kubabonekera mu minsi 40 avuga ibyo ubwami bw'Imana To whom he also presented himself alive after his suffering by many fallible proofs being seen by them during 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining the kingdom of God Icyo bivuza hanini the meaning of this, the Acts of Apostles, it's about all the deeds what the uh, disciples did after the ascension of Jesus. But not they were not able to do themselves. 
the Holy Spirit enabled them yes, that Jesus sent. He commanded them with the Holy Spirit. After the suffering, after his death, after his resurrection, he presented himself to them alive with many fallible proofs, telling them, it is me, it is Mbere I. Yuko mjuru, Before Jesus ascended to heaven, he spent with them 40 days telling them things about the kingdom of God. And, and he assembled them together with them. He commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem. But to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said. The thing, the thing says, get ready and wait Father's empowerment. Yes, when Jesus shared this with them, disciples were ready and they waited what was coming from above. On verse 4, on verse 5, mm. he said on 5, for John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So what was the meaning of this? It is different when you are baptized in water and when you are baptized with the Holy Spirit. That I will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. On verse 8, and Samaria no kumpera yisi. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. So when Jesus tell them to wait, <laughs> this was a very important word that he spoke to them. He said, when the Holy Spirit comes, when the Holy Spirit comes, it will baptize you in the Spirit. You will be filled with the Holy Spirit. And then, you will be witnesses. You will be witnesses. Uh, this word witnesses in Greek it's, called, it's, it's the same as martyrs. Yeah. So martyr, you will die for this. So a witness, someone who can die for what they believe in. That's where the, that's where the word uh, witness comes from. In the Greek, to become a, a witness, that means you will die for it. You'll be a martyr because of what you believed in in Christ. Jerusalemu ni Judaya both. So in the, it says you will be witnesses in both places, Jerusalem and Judea. Mm. So you ni will be witnesses. Mm. And you will be witnesses both here in Jerusalem and also in Judea. <laughs> that means both Jerusalem. Kai and passe te i o udaia. 
Donc, nous avons aussi le Judaïa. Et dans le Judaïa. Amen. Amen. Et ce que nous avons dit, ce que la Bible dit ici, Jésus, il y a un peu de temps Jesus tells them, wait and be ready, be prepared to become witnesses. You shall be witnesses. You will be witnesses around the globe. Amen. Amen. But they must be ready for it and wait for what was coming from heaven. So preparation what is coming from heaven is, is a, it's a work of grace of a man and God. So there's one thing you must do. You just sit and wait. So God does something. He sends. So in this season, in these times, God is telling you to wait because he is about to send something. In the past, he was sending the Holy Spirit. And today, he is sending you something. Be ready. He will send his child. He will send you a child. And you will give birth. Be ready. He will send wisdom. That you will be able to function when you are Be ready. He will send a child. He will send a person who will guide you. Just be ready. He will send the wealth and you shall use it. So and on your own part, there's something that you have been inquiring of God. So you be, this is a time for you to be ready to receive it. So when a young lady or young man is ready to, to engage, to be ready for married, what, what takes place there? They start getting ready. They dress well. They start to present themselves in the people. You are very careful what you say. You start becoming... Uh, a friend, connected. you start getting connected to people. You care and start honoring people. You take care of your skin so you can be loved. So the task of preparation, you are being, it's being prepared to be sent. To receive. To receive. To receive. So you are ready. And then, the man, the husband is coming. The, the bride is coming. So this example, uh, the beehive, the beehive, you go and prepare it. And then you wait for the honey. Yes. You take the beehive, and you place it near a forest in trees. Inzuki. So the bees, they will go looking and they find where to live. So they will come and then the next time, when you go, you get the honey. So when Jesus said, go and wait for me in Jerusalem, he was telling them, become a, a beehive. Hanyuma. And then, I will send bees, if I may say this, I will send the Holy Spirit, and you become my witnesses. You will be the martyr. Meaning this, something sweet will come out of you. So what comes out of the beehive? What comes out of bees? So when bees had been in a beehive, a honey comes out of it. And it's it sweet for the man. So we are like a beehive. We wait. What will come from our father. What the father sends is the Holy Spirit. So when the Spirit enters us, us in the Holy Spirit, we will birth a sweet as a honey. And the word will go looking for it. You know how sweet honey is? Same of a person filled with the Holy Spirit. 
they are not sweet to the men, but they are answers, solutions. They become their peace. They bring their joy. They bring love. And they bring miracles. Listen to me. Wait. What the Father is about to do. Wait. What is coming from heaven. There's something being prepared. There's something God prepared. Amen. Amen. As the biha, as you become a beehive, encounters the bees, and the bees enters the beehive, so the Holy Spirit enters us, and the bees will do the acts of seeking for the honey. They will go around Ushakisha. looking and out of the beehive honey comes uh, facts, uh, tangible facts of honeys are given. So when the Holy Spirit comes in us, it creates a of fruits. Gifts are instilled in us. So when the gifts are manifested out, when people consume them, miracles start taking place, healing comes, those in drugs, they leave them behind. Those who are bound, they are delivered. Why? It's because the sweetness of the honey so we are witnesses. We are the martyr of Christ. Ooh, hallelujah. hallelujah. We are martyrs of Christ. Listen to me, brethren. It's not us who we are. It's what is in us. The Holy Spirit. We've been dead. We are martyrs. What is in us that the Holy Spirit is what shall speak. Listen to me now. The time has come. The time is this. That you should get up in those powers and be ready. Because God is sending the Holy Spirit in you. You shall speak in new tongues. Your gifts will manifest. You will pray for the people. You will preach to people. You will sing. And people will be delivered. Miracles will start taking place. God will use you to perform exceeding and great miracles. Hallelujah. Just be ready to receive what comes from Father. You are going to be a true witness. Be ready for God's miracle. God is going to open doors for you. God is going to break your that binds your household, your life, your work, your dreams, your mind, God is sending the Holy Spirit. Be ready. Be ready. For the time has come. Brethren, brethren, walk in the power. Walk in the miracle. Walk in the grace of God today and forever. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let us pray together. God, I thank you for you are bringing your Holy Spirit that you are sending what is in heaven. As the bees enter the beehive, so the Holy Spirit is coming in us and sweet honey will come out of us for the world that we are salt of this earth. We are the light of the world. May I say that we are the honey of this world as the Holy Spirit fills us. Give my brethren to wait and so you may send. As we wait, you will send. Send your powers, your authority, your miracles. May they transform and be new people. May they go to another level. May, may they praise you and thank you in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. May the peace of Lord Jesus Christ be with you. May God strengthen you and support you. Bye.